Hello, everybody. Ray Pedraza of the McAllen Cable Network in Harlingen for TxDOT's Click It or Ticket News Conference. It's a big announcement about stepped-up seatbelt enforcement coming up May 21st through June the 3rd. Here to talk to us more about that is Johnny Hernandez. He's a spokesperson for DPS. Johnny, thanks for joining us. Oh, thank you, Ray, for inviting me. You know what, uh, several law enforcement agencies are part of this. Tell us uh, all about this Click It or Ticket operation that's going to go on. You know, Ray, Click It or Ticket is going to be through May 21st through June 3rd. It's, a, it's an enforcement period where all law enforcement officers are going to be looking for drivers and passengers that are not uh, secured by a safety belt. And uh, we're here to advise the people that we will be enforcing this law. We're not going to be giving warnings for this violation, and it's something that uh, we want to save lives. It's about saving lives, uh, just what it boils down to. And uh, but then again, Ray, you know that that little uh, dates of uh, May 21st through June 3rd is only uh, just the campaign part. We do this every day. Every day is is about click it or ticket for all law enforcement officers, and it's to make sure that you know we want to make sure that uh, you know I've seen it to where it saved lives. I've seen it. And you know what? There's a there's a truck dangling here from a crane. What's that all about? You know this this truck is uh, dangling from a crane and it's saying that uh, it's being held by a safety belt. So if it can hold all these tons of uh, of uh, metal and all, that, what do you think it can do for you when you roll over? It's going to keep you inside that vehicle and keep you secure. And it's like I mentioned earlier that uh, we had a female that was driving from from east to west from Port Mansfield. Ray, she rolled over. She had a safety belt on. She walked out of that wreck. She lived. She didn't have one scratch on her. Nice. Hey, and also with trucks, I understand they're more likely to roll over, and I understand that uh, fewer people who drive trucks buckle up. And that's correct. The reason they 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 don't buckle up is because they think that these trucks are going to keep them safe inside there, and, and it's not the case. And also, we can't enforce it sometimes because they have window tint, and when they have the window tint, we can't see it. And that's what makes it hard to enforce on on, on pickup trucks because uh, they don't utilize it. And it's something that we're going to start looking into this uh, factor as far as getting these drivers to secure themselves and wearing a safety belt because uh, it's about click it or ticket. It's about saving lives. What, what other message that we want to drive home? A lot of people think that uh, only the passengers in the front seat need to be buckled up, and that is not true. That is not true. Everybody in that vehicle needs to wear a safety belt. Everybody. The law does say that uh, if it, there's a child under eight, or unless he's four foot nine, that's uh, they they need to be in a child safety seat or, or in a or in a, a booster seat. All right. Bottom line: seat belts save lives. Bottom line: safety belts save lives, and, uh, and and we're here to make sure that everybody wears them. All right, Johnny Hernandez, thank you so much. Thank you, Ray. All right, and we thank you for watching. I'm Ray Pedraza, and this is the McAllen Cable Network.